When I can't find a condiment that I like to use in cooking, I will try and find a way to make it. And that's just what's happened with my Indonesian sweet and soy sauce, which is called ketchup mayonnaise. And it's difficult to find, but you can order it online and some stores will have it. But it's something I like to be able to know I can make at any time. When I fall in love with an ingredient, the best thing for me to do is to learn to make it. So I'm going to show you a fast and easy thickened Indonesian sweet soy sauce that is so good on fish, on fried rice, and it's so simple and easy and more cost effective for you to make it yourself. So I'm using about five little star anise. And star anise are this exotic, it almost looks like the inside of an apple. It's a dried uh, flower. It is fantastic. It's just that, it's the same flavor you'd find in a big bowl of pho noodles. So I'm adding a quarter cup of soya sauce and a quarter cup of brown sugar. And that's it. I'm going to let it all reduce down and it will thicken up. It thickens up as it rests. So you're just going to bring it to a boil and you're going to reduce it down for a few minutes. And then it will be thick and syrupy. And that sauce is what's going to impart that taste of the Far East in all your dishes. I hope you'll give it a try. It really saves you from trying to run around and find certain different exotic ingredients. Learning how to make some of your own pantry items is one of the best life hacks you can make yourself. So I hope you'll try this tip of the day. It's fast, it's easy, and it's really convenient for when you want to make something exotic.